you. What's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Jess. If you're new here, thanks for being here. So today I just wanted to go through five things that I want to release before 2021 and it may give you some ideas or you may align with this or you may relate to it a little bit in which case let's do it together. So let's just get right into it then. Number one, I have self-doubt. We don't and never will know what's going to happen. So what is the point of doubting yourself? Might as well have confidence in what you're doing and what you're putting your time into because that confidence will make you feel better in the long run. I'm going to try to be more confident. I'm going to try to release my self-doubt and you should too. Two, toxic people and situations. <sighs> I can't stress this enough. These things, these people, do not serve you. Many times in these situations or with people like this, you're being manipulated and you don't really know it. It can be a really hard thing to realize and to go through, but when you realize this and you give yourself the space to let it go, you actually make more room in your life for better things and better people. Really? Three, the need for perfection. This was a big one. It was hard for me to do things a lot of the time because I felt like, what's the point of doing it if it's not going to be perfect? So I was always really focused on it being the most perfect thing ever and I wouldn't ever finish anything because I got so frustrated with myself because it didn't seem perfect. Perfect does not exist. Always putting pressure on yourself to be perfect and having everything to be perfect will just give you anxiety. Why? Because perfection is a facade. Rather, I focus on progression. So I've replaced perfection with progression because I find that if I kind of look at what I've done, it makes me feel really good about myself. Maybe what I'm doing isn't perfect right now. Maybe it's not done but look how much progress I've made and that is what is really important. Four, letting fear make your decisions for you. Ooh, do I know so much about this. Fear is a bitch, to put it very plainly. It creeps in at the worst moments and it takes over everything. And you know, fear is very hard to label and very hard to recognize because it can be mistaken for other emotions. This is something I've struggled with for a very long time. I've let fear make decisions for me for a very long time. And it wasn't until this year when I spoke to a therapist that I realized that a lot of my fears are really silly. And a lot of the things that you're afraid of, most of the things that you're afraid of don't ever happen. It's just your mind making things up because the ego is afraid of the unknown, but you will see that in the unknown, there is actually a lot of good, a lot of expansion, and a lot of fulfillment. And last but not least, number five, and that is seeing vulnerability as a weakness. Ugh, man, this took me a long time to realize also. You will notice this as a theme. These are things that have been plaguing me for a lot of my life. And I feel like 2020 has really um, opened my eyes to a lot of things. So I saw vulnerability as a weakness because I thought people who shared their feelings and shared how they felt and were really open about that were just kind of like looking for attention. But I realized that sharing my hardships and, and sharing how I feel with people really connected me to people and it it brought me closer to people and experiences and I feel like I've really grown as a person and I've gained a lot in doing that so I want to continue just remember that vulnerability is a strength it's not a weakness so those are my five things to let go of before 2021 see your husband <laughs> so so interesting, so interesting. I'll, I'll just use that word. It's been very interesting. A lot of things have happened that I didn't expect to happen, which I'm sure a lot of people are going through. But 
ultimately as kind of crappy as 2020 was it it allowed me to be a better person i feel as though i've grown a lot this year that i've learned a lot especially about myself and ultimately i'm i'm pretty happy with my progression this year and i hope that you look back and you're happy about your progression too i know again that's been really hard but look how far we've come and i hope that all of this upheaval and all of this stuff will really benefit us in the future thanks for watching this video um, please let me know in the comments what you're trying to release for before 2021 um, i'm super curious and i just love to know what other people are kind of going through yeah thanks for watching uh, please like this video if you liked it Share it, subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you next time. Bye! Bye! See ya! <laughs>